Hey guys, so if you are watching this video, you have probably played or watched Agari once in your lifetime. So hello, I'm Jumbo and today I'm going to talk about this game. I will try to briefly explain everything about this game, from the start to those days. So on this video, I will talk about those topics. How it all started, the evolution of Agari, why Agari died, the solution to this problem, why you should still support Agari YouTubers. So why you should still watch my videos here on my main gaming channel, Jumbo, or on my second channel, Potato Show, where I will start posting real live videos. So make sure you are subscribed to both of my channels, so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. Anyway, I will talk more about this later on this video. Agari was created on April of 2015 and this started a whole new chapter on the gaming community. It was just a simple browser game that went viral very fast. The game was pretty great but didn't have much players until the biggest YouTubers started playing and promoting it by making videos. YouTubers like PewDiePie, Markiplier, JackSpectiKai and many many others were the one who started this trend on YouTube and helped this game grow. Even I started playing Agari because I saw some videos on YouTube. This game started a whole new community on YouTube that for now I'm going to call it the Agario community and many new channels were created to plot this kind of content that includes some of the first Agario youtubers that was me, Jumbo, AgarTube and then many many others. We together build a whole new community here on YouTube, the Agario community. Agari was created by a Brazilian developer. On the beginning, it was only one mode, FFA. Later on, he added experimental mode. The mechanics were pretty simple and players weren't as good as now. Everyone was playing solo and they didn't knew any tricks or strategies on the game. YouTubers were making simple videos by just recording a raw gameplay and adding a soundtrack. They didn't even speed up the gameplay. Then the creator sold the game to a big company. Then they added new game modes like party mode and team mode. They also changed the mechanics of the game. The graphics of the game, they added accounts, levels, skins and power-ups. You could either win them or buy them. They also created the iOS and Android mobile version of the game. Players started teaming and they created new clans like MBK, ZT, TYT, Hero Clan and many many others. Solo and team players learned new fancy tricks and strategies to beat other players which made the game very hard for some players and very easy for the others who knew what they were doing. Also YouTubers started editing their videos more and more and making them very entertaining to watch. At this stage the server started lagging, also bots came around, but later on they fixed those problems but a lot of people left and never come back. They added anti-teaming on FFA and updated the game by adding... Uh, uh, they, they added new skins, yeah, the new skins. <laughs> People are asking for new things on the game. They were complaining because there were a lot of teamers on FFA and party mode was almost unplayable for solo players because the teamers are savages. And YouTubers have reached a whole new level of editing videos called the Epileptic Caesar Effect. <laughs> Oh, and also don't forget, they just recently added new sound effects to the game. <laughs> There are a few reasons on why Agario is dying and our Agario community is falling down. The game is bad, people have been asking for new updates forever and yet there is still no new game modes, they still haven't improved the anti-teaming which has made FF8 toxic and unplayable for solo players. Also I know that everyone was complaining when bots appeared on Agario but it's very strange that I noticed a lot of people left Agario after they passed or fixed the bot problem. I think for most of the solo players on party mode it was more fun and challenging to play with bot users around. After this a lot of big Agario clans quit the game which made even more people to leave the game and never come back here. Also some clans who were still around started unnecessary drama on YouTube which divided our community even more. Anyway even if we fixed all those problems at the end of the day the game was just a trend. Agario was a great game which created a whole new section of the IO games but new IO games were created and people left Agario for those new better options. People even created Agario clones trying to fix 
fix the problems but this didn't work it just divided the players even more also i always get comments from you guys here on my channel hey jumbo you are the biggest agario youtuber contact them and tell them to fix the game well believe me or not i did that a few times we all have been asking for new updates i think they know what we want but they just don't care to fix this game they don't care about our community so why should we care about their game there is no solution for this game. Yes, Agario is dying. That doesn't mean that our Agario community should die too. We need to stick together as a loyal community and support each other. Do you remember on the start I said that we call our amazing community the Agario community? Well, we need to take all that Agario part and replace it with a potato. <laughs> So as a conclusion, we need to stay together no matter what game we play or what kind of content we make. Why should we be friends only because of Agario? What if Agario didn't even exist? Okay, so we met through this game. Now I know that we all like to play this game at a certain time. But no, some of you don't like to play it anymore. Some of you still like it. Some YouTubers don't want to make more Agario videos. And some of us still want to make more Agario videos. Why can't we just stay all together as a community and support each other? And support each other as a person, no matter what kind of game games we play or or what kind of content we post so can you guys understand what i'm trying to say youtube gives us this amazing opportunity for our community no matter what we play or do we can still get to know each other we can just be friends and have fun together even while not playing any games so what I'm asking for you guys is to support me even if I post different content from my Agario. I want you to know me as a person, my personality. Let's try to revive our community by commenting on our videos. And let's get to know each other. I want to know you guys more. I want to hear your opinions. I'm sure there are plenty of other games that you guys want to play. And different kind of videos that you want to watch. So please just give me a chance and I'm sure we can do this. I'm going to post different gaming videos here on my main channel Jumbo. And I'm going to post my other real life videos on my second channel potato shop also if you are here only because of agario please do me a favor and unsubscribe from my channel and to everyone else who is still supporting me i thank you very much and i will try my best to make the best content for you guys again thank you very much for all the love and support and see you next time bye bye